Number five, write the nuclide notation, including charge if applicable for atoms with the following characteristics. And then we have our example here. So we have to write a nuclide notation for an element who has 53 protons, 89 neutrons, and 54 electrons. Okay, so the first thing is, well, what is that nuclide notation? Well, I have a little blueprint. It's very colorful and it's a total of four slots. It's right here. Now it may look like, you know, a bunch of shapes, right? Squares and rectangles, but in these four different color slots, numbers and letters have to go in there. Now these two boxes are reserved for numbers. This big box, we'll put it right here, that this big box is going to be who the element is. Now when you write the element, you don't write the actual name, right? Like cobalt or ion, you will write Fe or CO. This in the upper right hand corner is always where the charge of an atom or in general, anything polyatomic, uh, that's always where the charge goes in the upper right hand corner. Now let's just say that this uh, atom doesn't have a charge. Well then this whole thing just goes bye bye, but we'll keep it there. Oh boy, what happened? <laughs> There we go, it's back. Okay, so let's figure out what element this is. Now, all the elements on the periodic table have a very unique whole number, right? If we scan across the fourth period, we see that these numbers are increasing by one, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are your number of protons. And the number of protons is also known as the atomic number. And the atomic number always goes on the bottom of your two values here. So we're going to have the atomic number on the bottom. And this is always going to be the number of protons. So every atom has its own unique number of protons. If you do increase a proton by one, bloop, you become a different element. Now in our case, we have 53 protons. So we have to scan uh, the periodic table for lucky number 53. And do you, we see it? Yes, I do. Here it is, 53, iodine. So, and maybe I'll just move that up a little bit just so that we could see the 53. And iodine is just uppercase I. So in the blue box, I'm just gonna put an I. Okay, atomic number, number of protons, that's 53. So that number is going here. We're 50% done with our notation. Now let's work on the top number. The top number is always gonna be your atomic mass. Now the atomic mass is the bulk of the mass of the atom. It's the mass of the nucleus, right? So we say to ourselves, well, what subatomic particles are in the nucleus? Well, it's your protons plus your neutrons. The electrons are not in the nucleus as they are surrounding the atom, surrounding the nucleus in its orbitals and its shells. So only protons and neutrons are allowed for your atomic mass. So we have 53 protons and we have 89 neutrons. So we just have to add those up together to just get our value, right? So whether you wanna plug into the calculator, do mental math, uh, let's see what we got here. So we got a two, 142, I believe. Let's just double check on that. That's a two, that's a nine, that's a five, that's a four, that's a one. I would say, yep, 142. Okay, three out of the four done. Now let's see if this has a charge. Now the charge is when all of your uh, charged particles are coming together. Positives are going to be combating with negatives. Well, the question is, who is the positive and who's the negative? Well, positive P, positive P for proton. So the protons are your positive subatomic particles and you have 53 of them. So for our charge, we're starting off with 53 positives. Now, how many negatives do we have? Well, the negatives are the electrons. Neutrals or <laughs> neutrons are neutral. They have no N, no charge, zero charge. So we don't, take, we don't take any consideration in neutrons, 
but we have 54 negatives. So I'm just going to put minus 54. And now we just have to add these charges up. So essentially, it's going to be 53 minus 54, right? You have 53 positives, 54 negatives. You're going to have a leftover charge of a negative 1. So that's the charge in the upper right-hand corner. Now, you can put just a negative because anything with just a negative means negative 1. Or you could put the negative 1 there, which I'll do. You could also put one negative. It does not matter. Um, just make sure that you have the negative, and if you want to put the one, that's, you know, that's cool too. And that is the answer for our nuclide notation. So we got all four parts, and we are good to go. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, yeah, I have fun doing these, but what about you? Chemistry is fun. I think chem's fun, but I might be the only one, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe there are others out there. Um, I hope you're doing well. And if you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be a member, we opened up memberships. There's four different tiers and maybe one of them might suit your fancy. So go check it out and I will see you in another lesson. Okay. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.